Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's Peachy P, and you're listening to the Cannabis Infusions Podcast. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. So let's talk and come smoke with me. <coughs> what's up, what's up, you guys? It is Peachy P. I am back in action with another podcast. I know I've been gone. Oh, I miss you guys so much. It's been pretty bananas and nuts, okay? So, (laughs) let me just go ahead and tell y'all what's going on. So, first things first, of course, you know I always got a strand. Um, I've actually been um, smoking on some purple cherries, if you guys have had it. And it's actually pretty good. I've actually, you know me, I'm always smoking on some shit. So, if you guys have that strand purple shit, anything purple... I actually really like, you know what I'm saying? But have y'all been? Oh my God, I miss you guys so much. First off, okay, I just want to say that. Um, Welcome my subscribers. Welcome my, my new subscribers, my old veteran subscribers, my subscribers that's thinking about subscribing. You guys should go ahead and do it. Um, cannabis infusions, you guys. So it's been a long journey. So you guys know I went to Belize. My last podcast, I was telling you guys that I was going to Belize, and I did go. Uh, my dad actually has Parkinson's, so um, I actually uh, have some really good news for you guys. But first, purple cherries. Okay. So let's talk about this purple cherries first. So um, I know some of you guys listen to me for the strange with strains, <laughs> not strange, but uh, strains. And I really do appreciate you guys because you guys keep me going and everything like that. Um, but I've never had purple cherries. I've never had it before. Um, and it's really pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I actually like the OGs and stuff, but, um, it's certain size that I do like, um, as far as, you know, just being able to smoke and everything, um, different strands and just taste the difference between everything. Um, right now, um, I'm actually, uh, just getting into different things, uh, besides weed. So, It might be a little change between cannabis infusions and what's going on only because I'm getting more into the herbal thing and, you know, just really uh, doing more of the getting the body together thing. You know, you know, because look, when you get a certain age, like you got to start taking care of your body. Like, matter of fact, you really should be taking care of your body when you're young, like when you first come out the womb, but that's not really ideal only because, you know, kids gonna be kids. I mean, everybody was a kid before. So it's like, you know, you gotta make sure that you are on top of your stuff, but then, you know, kids like snacks and stuff like that, which is okay. But the way the snacks are set up in America, it's not ideal to really be snacking like that. But, you know, that's neither here nor there you know when you're younger your body is more prone to be able to heal your body faster that's the reason why when people start turning in their 30s and their 40s and stuff like that they actually have to take care of their bodies um you know will actually start to take better care of your bodies because think about it you got like 30 years right now okay so 30 years, the ideal lifelong span would be like to 100, right? But we know that people don't live until 100. Not a lot of people. I mean, people do live to 100 or even more than that, but I'm just saying the average person like does not live to 100. That's just the way it is. You know what I mean? So let's say uh, the average person lives to like let's say 70, 
75 tops, right? Um, the average person. Well, maybe I should make it a little bit more like, okay, let's say 80. So now um, when you get in your 30s and your 40s, you're like middle age now. Like you have to do things differently because now your body is is not working the way it was working when you were 15 or 16 or even 20. I was just telling my friend, like, I was like, girl, I ain't 20 no more. And I really miss being 20 and 19 because my body was more limber. It was more, you know, up there. But I actually take care of myself. So I really don't have that much of a problem. Like, I never really could do a split anyway. And I never really did, like, a cartwheel anyway. So it was just like, you know, if you, you whatever you never had you can't miss what you never had basically but <laughs> yes so you guys i'm so happy that i'm getting back to this podcast you guys uh i know some people listen a lot of people listening to it in different countries shouts out to ghana i know y'all been listening to the podcast okay uh especially trinidad and tobago i think that's what it's called look if y'all need to put in these comments, if I am butchering y'all countries, you need to let me know because I do not want to butcher nobody country, okay? Um, I respect all people of different races, countries, ethnicities, everything. So if you guys, look, if I said anything wrong, just, you know, tell me in the comments. I would love to get to know you guys and see what type of strands y'all smoking. And if you even are smoking in your country, please let me know. And if you are smoking, like, what are the laws like? Like, can you smoke outside? Could you not smoke outside? Just let me know because, I mean, that's interesting to know. Then I can say it on the podcast, you know? Also, if you do have any questions, just put them under the comments. You know, uh, follow the Instagram page. The Instagram page is still up. The only thing that's not up is the website, only because I have to redo the website all over again, you guys. The website was looking the bomb before I left for Belize, but then, you know, that whole month and a half um, that I was gone, you know, everything was pretty much uh, about my dad. So I couldn't really do too much work, even though I wanted to do a lot of work. But, you know, it's always good to take that time out for yourself and to make sure that you are getting whatever you need as far as you know, your minerals, not vitamins, but your minerals, because people forget uh, that vitamins and minerals go hand in hand. If you're just taking vitamins and you're not having no minerals in your body, you might as well not even take the damn vitamins. You know what I mean? Because they go hand in hand. So I um, actually did uh, a lot of detoxing as well while I, I was in Belize, and it was pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> I... Uh, this time when I went to Belize, I actually was talking to like the people, you know, that were doing the bush medicines and stuff like that. And just trying to get a better understanding of what I'm putting in my body, how to put it in my body, um, how often do I need to put it in my body. So you guys should really, really, really think about what you put in your body. Also, when you're taking care of your body as well. You know, the weed, it hits you a little bit faster and you'll be able to really feel the effects of the weed. So with that being said, <laughs> how you guys doing? I've missed you guys so much. OK, yes, I know I said that like five times, but I really have missed you guys. Also, I um, actually moved to a new place, so it's pretty awesome. Yes, I love it. It's. Um, closer to my dad more north so I've been really just basking in this view that I got and just really exploring Chicago in a different light and a lot of people you know think that Chicago is the most horrible city but it's really not like if you really really get a chance to actually be here in Chicago I'm not talking about like downtown or even well I can't knock downtown because downtown is the bomb but I mean, like, actually get to see the neighborhoods, the different type of people that are in these neighborhoods doing great things, all the dispensary. I, you know what? Look, 
If you living in Chicago, listen up. They actually have a dispensary that only does deliveries in Uptown. And I didn't know that. But, you know, I always do my research wherever, everywhere I go. So it's like, I don't even have to go get my weed anymore. Like, I'm, even though I never went to go get my weed anyway, I always had somebody bring it to me. But it's so different. Like, they, it's, everything is it's like a culture shock to me up here. It's like every part of Chicago you go to is like a culture shock. Like, you go up north, it's like, whoa, it's different. Then you go out west, it's like, wow, that's a whole nother, like, state. Then <laughs> you go over east, it's a whole different vibe. South is just like, damn, like, man, it's busting. So, you know, it's, I'm really getting to know my city in a different light, and it's really awesome. And I really, really do, you know, appreciate the people here because... You know, yeah, you get dicks everywhere, but the majority of the people that live in an environment where they can get good food, where they can get good herbs and stuff like that, it's a whole different vibe. So, shouts out to Chicago, even though it's too many damn bumps on Lakeshore Drive, I'm going to need for y'all to fix them five bumps on Lakeshore Drive because they're literally taking over the whole expressway. And the damn potholes on the actual streets as well. But you know how that is in every city, every state. They're going to get to them when they feel like getting to them bitches. So, <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I have been just chilling, just really doing meditations, you know, working out more and everything. And I've just, I've learned a lot this past couple months. And it's really, really been the time of my life as far as just starting from scratch and just seeing my dad get better. My dad played the piano for the first time in four years. And we're really, really happy about that, our family and everything. So it's really been awesome. Like, it's really been cool. So things to look out for as far as what's coming up for the podcast and everything yes i'm still going to do a podcast every week but you have to subscribe because i'm not going to designate a day only because i'm still getting everything together as far as me moving and stuff like that so uh you guys just make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast on spotify uh just follow uh the instagram page as well cannabis infusions we're back on facebook cannabis infusions but you know how facebook is they be acting shady so just make sure that you guys definitely go on um go to the instagram because for some reason instagram hasn't flagged me in a while so i've been i've been pretty good also uh for the announcements uh because i should have did that at the beginning but i didn't the announcements uh don't forget you guys uh, august 12th i believe is the Puff and Poetry show. Uh, we just recently had one too uh, in July. I can't remember. It was July 6th or something like that or 7th. One of them. But if you want to see that, go to the YouTube page, Cannabis Infusions YouTube page. Yes, we have a YouTube. So if you want to check out uh, basically a summary of the Puff and Poetry show, uh, it was a lot of smoking going on, a lot of good poetry. If you do love poetry, uh, please go check that out. All of Genesis information is down there for the new Puffin Poetry, and it's going to be out west as well. So uh, if you guys want to uh, buy tickets at the door or if you want to get tickets in advance, which is probably a good thing to do to get those tickets in advance um, because I think they're a little bit more at the door. But if you want to get, uh, make sure you got a Puff Pack reserved uh for the event make sure you guys definitely check out um the youtube page uh check out my page as well on instagram at big boss peachy and uh 3yem underscore genesis for the information on that and follow uh poetic high poetic underscore hy for more information on the show so if you guys want to see it y'all definitely don't want to miss the next one it's awesome as shit okay and i just would like to thank genesis 
for everything she's done and everything and for making sure that a nigga gets what she needs as far as exposure and love and all that. That's my best friend, so you know I got to hype up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm really, really, really just uh, excited for everything that's going on this month as well. Also, school starting this month. I know everybody's pretty busy and everything with uh, getting their kids together, if you do have kids. Um, so... I definitely, definitely, definitely um, am excited about that, too. So, I'm not going to talk to you off today, but next episode, I definitely am. But I just want to give you guys a heads up on everything. Uh, make sure you follow the YouTube. Follow me, Big Boss Peachy, uh, on Instagram. Make sure you do follow Cannabis Infusions, uh, C-A-N-N-A-B-I-S, -N -N yes infusions with the z as in zoo and make sure that you guys smoking these strains and hit me up let me know did you miss me let me know um but i'm gonna get up out of here thank you guys so much for listening and i will see you on the next episode bye bye Thanks for listening to the Cannabis Infusions podcast. For more information on this podcast and how to listen and watch, go to www.cannabisinfusions.com. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. Come smoke with me. <coughs>